All right, boys and girls, we hope you had a truly awesome summer on your CD watercraft, but right now in the northern climates, it is fall and it is time to prep these for long-term storage. Here are the tools to get the job done. The first step is to clean and inspect the jet pump system. Thoroughly spray down your intake and jet nozzle and remove any debris that may have built up over the season. Give all the metal components a coating of anti-corrosive lubricant. Add the proper amount of fuel stabilizer for a full tank of fuel. You'll also want to top off your tank for storage. Now it's time to change the oil. Typically this is done by accessing the oil dipstick and oil filter through the side panels as seen here. To drain the oil, you'll remove the oil dipstick and suck the old oil out using your fluid transfer pump. To change the filter, remove the three bolts with your E8 torque socket. Remove the previous filter and O-ring from the cap and replace with a new O-ring and filter from your XPS oil change kit. Be sure to snap the new filter securely into the cap before placing it back into the compartment. We tighten the Torx bolts and fill from the dipstick location with the fresh two quarts of oil from the oil change kit. We're ready to flush the exhaust system. To do this, connect your garden hose to the flush access on the port side of the rear of your CD. With the hose connected, start your CD first and then immediately turn on the water. It's very important to start the CD engine before turning on the water or you'll risk flooding it. Give the throttle a few pulls to push the water through it shut off the water and then turn off the engine. Because we don't want any water sitting in the exhaust system, we're going to take our air hose and blow air at 55 psi through the exhaust system until we no longer see water coming out the back. Next, we'll pop the top off the spark and fog the engine. Remove the seat and port side panel. You'll need your T30 Torx driver, a 10mm socket and 10mm wrench. There are three bolts to remove from the front, six nut and bolt combos on each side, eight at the back, a few more if you've got footrests at it three around the fuel cap, and two by the steering column. Disconnect the steering cable and electrical connections and lift the top off. Disconnect the ignition coils and wiggle them free. Using your 5A spark plug socket, remove and check the spark plugs. Spray XPS anti-corrosive lubricant or storage oil in each plug hole. Replace spark plugs and ignition coils. Give the exposed metal parts a good coating of XPS anti-corrosive spray for extra protection and place the top back on the spark. Next we're going to give the engine a crank by squeezing the throttle lever to the bar and pressing the start button. With everything under the hood done, we can now remove the battery and connect it to the battery tender. Fully charge the battery and then charge it approximately once a month while in storage to keep it fresh. The last step is to clean it up and protect the exterior surfaces. For this job, we use the XPS Sea-Doo Hull Cleaner and the XPS UV Protector. Once clean and dry, it's time to tuck them away for the season. So there you have it guys, just a few simple steps and awesome products from XPS as always will have you ready to hit the water next season.